iron hole. Okay, so here we come into race five, uh, showing about 11 kilometers an hour, so still really light winds, a little better than uh, race four that we just saw. Um, so let's see how everyone's lining up for this start here. You see New Zealand uh, pretty high up there. Uh, GBR just below them. Uh, Denmark starting to come in and hook both GBR and New Zealand. You see Denmark starting to push them up. Uh, New Zealand trying to duck down here. Uh, Denmark following them. New Zealand's really early. So they're going to have to turn out here. Opening the door for Denmark. So here we go again with Sehested really getting uh, snippy there at the uh, top of the line. This is so great. Um, shutting down both New Zealand and GBR. So here are the, the new kids on the block uh, crushing the uh, America's Cup champions and the best sailor of all time, um, both GBR and New Zealand. Um, so out to a really slow start. Let's uh, do a follow the leader here. So USAA um, is out front. Front. Um, and this is interesting. Look where Ainsley's going. You saw him kind of looking, looking around. Didn't seem to be any big hurry. And he's sailing parallel to the start line, uh, heading further down the course. So let's kind of watch this. Feels Very like interesting. To get into the top three and go into the podium race. So now he's turning up race. right now, near that bottom the of the top, uh, mark the on the, the start. Okay, so we have um, Jimmy knows if he US, the race, he's Spain, and France. One, two, three. Now they're heading up toward the skyline here. And uh, Spittle's looking around. He sees Japan in the background. Now, look at them. They're you're breaking. The reach the reach so they're... The left of look at the New they're Zealand and GBR in the umpire app. So, so there you just heard it. A huge shift. And now we have New Zealand finally starting to come back up toward the start line. So they're way, way back. But we also have GBR and uh, Japan heading down and away from that uh, skyline where we see all these other boats. So if you look at USA, they've got uh, just about eight kilometers of wind, just barely skimming along at 10 kilometers an hour. And you see Outridge uh, headed in completely the opposite direction, um, going below Mark 1. So this is going to be really interesting. You know, what does Ainsley and what does Outridge see, um, you know, apart from the obviously a huge wind shadow, um, you know, behind the buildings there, but you saw that Spain and the U.S. are out of that, but still with no speed. They have four kilometer, uh, kilometers an hour of wind. So now look down and you see GBR starting to come up. Let's look at their speed. Look at this. So 20 kilometers an hour. So now but they're coming no back up those, uh, toward Mark yet, 1. So be a new thing. But the Very interesting. What about Japan? They're doing 20K as say, well. They found 14 knots. So, so again, yet another very interesting tactic here that both Japan, it's okay. Look at Japan. They're getting 30. So they're in 15 kilometers. Look at this. Just blowing past wow blowing past gbr so there you go again it's outridge working his magic this guy is a monster now you see the water behind him they're getting breeze coming in draper and outridge there 
Draper talking about the left shift. Absolutely coming, incredible. Likes where so here goes um, Japan now, coming around now change as Japan on the foils seven, while everybody else is just first. drifting. That's a, a big, big tactical call, isn't it? Chris Draper wants to go straight. That's where they made their gains in race number four. And look at this. And he's left. Said, no, let's go back to the breeze that we just got back into this race. In. Yeah, he's so, left uh, GBR still in the water. Well, so, this you is know, the umpires, uh, penalty to France relative to Denmark, uh, not giving Denmark uh, room in the boundary to sell their proper course. No oh, that's there, very tight up there. Big unforced error. Uh, yeah, you on. can he see all the points he can France there pushes. Um, well have made a good call here. Yeah, pushes Denmark breeze. out. You He's see them studying that in the uh, app. Australia. You have boundary penalties. You have boundary penalties. Reality of this win, Freddie, you've got to be brave. Is Australia going to get called there too? Yeah, you've got to be brave, and when you make a decision, you've got to stick to uh, it. Hey, that's what Nathan Astridge did. He said, we've got to jog back to the pressure penalty. we've just come France, from. You have an outstanding and they are slipping away Denmark, again. That room, seems like a really uh, good Denmark, call. If they went straight like Draper had suggested into the left-hand dominant breeze, they'd have catapulted themselves. Yeah, so maybe Australia was pushed out along with Denmark. And the British have also stuck around Mark 1. Very interesting, because it sure looks like they were out as well. That was really close. He was talking about what they're sailing in now. A bold strategy to okay, say the so back to the race. To the smart, Freddy, but it's out well <laughs> we see, uh, oh, they did, Australia did get a penalty. Calm. So, okay. So both France, uh, Denmark, basically all those guys got a penalty you there. Um, but, you, you know, again, back to this race, here's Outridge. So reminder, in you know, 100 four, plus, 150 meters so you don't in front of everybody. You know, with more speed. So, you know, so they're looking at about 10 kilometers an hour. Their boat speed's up to almost 20. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, really, it's, this guy is just so incredibly talented finding wind. Um, there he goes. He's up on foils now up to 30. Well, let's see if we can get so, um, yeah, while Average all these guys, look at that, six down. kilometers an hour, huge GBR is, is starting to come up, and then you've got British team Japan last running second, away from over. the freaking pack May at 30. So, incredible. Here for them as Nathan Outridge out in front. This has got to be so yeah, they're now, talking about, you know, that break down to the bottom of the course. And back up to the mark. To the time in these um, you know, so you saw where GBR started, breeze, and now they're up in second stuff. place, and Japan think, in first. Know, so so really, a brilliant move. They see. saw what everyone else did right not, took advantage of it. That's some great sailing. And you see that New Zealand, which was trying to follow GBR, is in dead last. Oh, hang on. No, they've just moved up. Just well, look at that. New Zealand right BR trying to drift its way up to this. The water looks glassy. Glassy this water. mark that means uh, no talking about the right water the screen, uh, and the, the just the lack of wind here. Darker wind, oh, darker water, and that suggests more wind. And look at the boat speed right now. Great Britain is up to 27 kilometers an hour. Japan at 15. It looks like Spain and New Zealand. And these guys can make anything sound exciting. You have to uh, like respect that. We've had a reload okay, so here. So talking as we about say, probably falling, the, the, the falling out around with the some uh, speed on the right or wind on the right. The best on the right. The best on the right. Uh, looks like you know we're starting to get some pressure there in the middle. Right yeah, you see that gust. Uh, gust. You see the puff coming down there from the, looks like the shore side. Tom Slingsby's got to keep an eye on Jimmy Spithill and the Americans right now. He does not want to give too many points to them because they would be in a battle for that third and final position. All right, the last so race the uh, New Zealand has gotten up to third. You know, that's a bit of luck for them. So let's see if they can hold on to it or they're on the foils. So not completely horrible. Close cross there with Japan and France, I believe. 
Andrew Maloney's face there. Focus, focus, focus. Such a hard day for the flight controllers. Okay. Trying to be looks really like gentle. they're turning into a little bit of pressure, like judging by up. the water there. Oh, touching down, but that's a decent jibe in these conditions. And we can see the course is small. Good breeze coming down the course. Nathan Outridge looks well set up for gate number three. Man, Outridge is just smoking everybody. Quite All right, so New Zealand, let's see if they can hold today. on. Shifty conditions. They do a lot better when they follow uh, Ainsley around the course. I think we've definitely seen that. And Australia has dropped back to eighth place, which is good news for the Americans. Wow, Australia all the way back. It's going to be really tight. Tactically, Slingsby's put himself in a very, very vulnerable position there. He's jived early. Yeah, he's in a bad spot here. America, Spain, France have the rights at the inside to this turning mark. Okay, the battle is between Australia and All right, so Spain coming in fast. Britain right now. Are leading overall. Japanese um, right now here we overall. have the battle is between Australia, Australia and the USA. I'm sorry, the US, US. Now, good few um, between them meandering and around the mark. All right, uh, Denmark coming in hot. They found America some breeze. Up to fourth. Yeah. Oh, they're going to go around here eighth as far as I can see because also on the inside is Sehested on the foils. And you see uh, Nathan making his way all the, all the way across to the left over there. Man, Denmark snuck Seems one around insane. Australia. Looking for some twists. They currently sit oh, in fourth. and Sehested's moving to the other side. Denmark with a close crossing. Maybe a good move. Japan we'll have to see on here. Way back down. Remember, the course has now been shortened just to four legs, and Japan is coming up on that possible clinching position as they would cross the finish line with two first places. Oh, this is a big move by the Danish. I'm not sure about that. The Japanese have been gaining on the right-hand side. The Japanese are foiling on that side of the course, and Sehested is heading to the other Look side of the this. course. I'm surprised Japan he didn't follow around behind the up Tried to find after some space. Let's see how it works out then. It's Australia. While everybody's still at this mark. Absolutely incredible. So here comes uh, Japan up to the and finish. Japan we have GBR in second. With Great Britain sitting in second, New Zealand in third. And I'm sure this race is going to be called before New Zealand is able to get all the way up to that gate and back here. So Ainsley's got, got some speed. <laughs> And they will cross the line. Wow, look at this. Six yeah. kilometers per hour yeah. to 42. Oh, that's Japan great. The win so, yeah, you heard that nervous and laughter from Outridge second place. as they were just so trying to cross here, with Ainsley bearing down on them. Japan, so, Japan wins another one. Uh, GBR in second. And so, there you go. That takes uh, takes us into the final, which we've already covered. And, um... So, great racing, no light wind, um, we're off to France, this is Smack Out. Four Smacks, for you!